hello friends welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to take you through the stream feeding management uh, technique that i follow for my bifolar culture the feeding management is very critical uh, uh, in uh, stream farming and if you do not know uh, how much feed you should feed to your animals so consequences will be very bad okay so it basically comes with an experience so if you are a newbie to this culture so you need to master this technique by running uh doing the multiple cultures so it cannot be uh no happens with a uh, overnight it requires lots of uh, experience to master this technique okay the feeding is very much essential and you need to have proper control of it if you are doing a shrimp farming if the high amount of feed is getting wasted or unutilized uh, in the you know pond or a tank those uh, those uh, feed it contains high amount of protein and those protein when they decompose it will produce high amount of toxic gas in the uh, water and those toxic gas may kill your animals as simple as that if more feed is not getting utilized by the shrimp that means it will produce high amount of uh, toxic gas when it is decompose and consequences will be very severe or the shrimp may get die okay so as simple as that so it's uh, it's very essential to master this technique so normally traditional farmer uh, what they do uh, to um, to manage the feeding they usually uh, use the check tray so check tray one is the very essential part of uh, the shrimp farmer so normally they uh, uh, put some amount of uh, feed into the check tray and leave it and monitor it for a couple of hours to check what are the feed given on the check tray it's basically getting consumed within few hours or not if the it is if the animals are very much aggressive they need more feed that means the feed will get consumed within few uh, like within an hour's time if the demand or the feed demand is not that much that means that may take longer time and in shrimp farming there is something called a molting phase in molting phase what happens when the shrimp grow from uh, one stage or one body weight to another body weight the normal they open up or release their upper body cover and they uh, uh, they do not take much uh, feed during that time and they'll try to build up their new body cover so this uh, process in normal take three to four days time and during this molting period so they, uh, they do not need much feed so during this molting period it is very essential to identify that uh, particular timeline and you need to cut down the feed uh, whatever you are given to 50 percent because the feed intake is very low less so you need to identify this molting period and then immediately cut down this feed to 50 percent to save from feed wastage so how do you know that this molting is happening or not from the check tray only you can identify that so every day if you are observing that whatever uh, feed you are giving you will see more number of uh, shrimp that are uh, along the, uh, uh, the check tray they will come and uh, and the mostly the feed will get consumed and all of a sudden someday you will find that the in the check tray there are few numbers of shrimp are coming and the feed is still there that means they probably it's high chance that the shrimps are undergone molting that's why they are not coming in the check tray and the feeds are still unutilized in the check tray and sometimes you will find that the there will be the dead scales will be floating on the surface of your tank or pond so from that you will understand that the shrimps are undergoing molting period okay and during the multi period immediately you need to whatever amount of feed you are giving cut down to 50 percent okay and uh, same uh, uh, feed after cutting down the 50 percent you feed them the, uh, the 50 percent feed for three to four days and once they restore their upper body cover then you can resume the whatever amount it's necessary or required uh, for the shims and that you need to validate from the check tray so check tray plays very essential role uh, for shrimp feeding management all right so one more thing uh, i would like to share here so uh, normally in the shrimp farming uh, most of us uh, we use the commercial feed that are available in the market by the many uh, different uh, vendors or manufacturers so uh, the every manufacturer uh, if you look at their uh, packet they have mentioned the feeding guidelines okay feed chart they have mentioned so accordingly uh, so if you are newbie then you need to follow this uh, feed uh, chart so basically this feed chart is made for the traditional farmers not for the technical farmers okay 
so 99 percent of the stream farmers are the traditional farmers only few farmers are the technical farmers so that's why the manufacturer uh, are only manufacturing the feeds based upon the traditional farmer uh, recommendations so in traditional farmer to produce one kg of uh, shrimp they may require 1.5 kg to 2 kg of feed is required whereas in technical farming or wife long farming you may require 800 to maximum one kg of feed is required to produce one kg of shrimp so here there is a huge difference if you follow this uh, ch uh, feeding chart which are given in the feed chart that means you are wasting more feed uh, okay and uh, the consequence will be very bad okay so if you are using the bioflux system or any technical farming never follow this uh, feed chart guidelines which are given in the uh, check tray uh, sorry in the packet itself based upon my experience i have prepared uh, you can see it here this uh, feed chart so again this feed chart can be uh, altered based upon your experience or the feed stream feed demand supply so here i have prepared for 100000 seeds you can see it here the uh, i have mentioned like stocking density how much stocking density is the 1 lakh uh, like 100000 seeds number of days that means every 10 days i have segregated like every 10 days every 10 days you, have, you need to change the feed and the third one the feed number that every feed company have their feeding uh, numbers packet have feed numbers okay feed number one two three something like that they have some uh, numbers so this number basically uh, helps to identify the the feed uh, the size basically so feed number one means very small uh, the feed size is really very small the two will be little bit larger three will be little larger than two likewise so it's based upon how what is the animal size based upon that you can give that uh, particular feed number so that they, they can easily consume that uh, size of feed okay so that the that's why they have uh, given this feed sizes okay overall the feed percentage protein fat everything will be remain same next one is the body weight so every uh, week you need to uh, take it out uh, the some some of the streams average it out what is the current body weight and based upon that body weight you can give the feed okay and next tab is the uh, percentage of feed based upon the body weight you can here we have mentioned like uh, seven percent six percent five percent so based upon the body mass you can feed them the that amount of that percentage of feed just total just total like let's say um, uh, first one like a uh, hundred thousand seeds uh, if the same body weight is like 0 0.02 gram that means if you multiply with the hundred thousand seeds it will becomes 2000 grams means 2 kg kilogram of uh, total biomass so if you consider 2 k if biomass is 2 kg or kilogram then you then feed how much feed you should give them for 10 days like 50 percent that means 1 kg feed you need to feed them for next uh, 10 days and for each day you have to give them the 1 kg feed and again that 1 kg feed to be need to break down into like five to six meals okay so the more you give the smaller meals it's a little good for the shrimp health and for the water management also because if you give the small meals uh, the aggression will be very high the shrimps will uh, immediately take up the feed that will be less uh, feed uh, left over or unutilized by the shrimps so the more you uh, the more you give the uh, smaller meals it's better for your water as well as the shrimp health also and the final the total feed so in 10 days how much total feed you have to give here i have mentioned so these all this value can be altered or can be uh, no uh, no changes you can change it based upon your uh, uh, demand and supply experience okay so guys uh, this was all about the uh, this feeding chart that i follow uh, for my bioflow culture bioflow stream farming so you can follow that uh, for at your initial stage and uh, when you have uh, good experience on this uh, shrimp farming probably you can change the value based upon your expense all right so this was all about the feeding management in shrimp farming if you have any question queries anything so put it on the comment section uh, i'll try to respond to your queries or else if you uh, uh have my uh, whatsapp number it is there if you go to e each and uh, every video of mine so i uh, i have shared that one so you can uh, use that uh, whatsapp me so probably i'll uh, help you on that as well okay guys thank you so much uh, for spending uh, some time to you uh, know uh, watch out my video i hope you like it thank you so much see you soon then thank you bye bye take care